Ow, 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 ow. What's wrong? Yeah, I know. Oh, oh. I have a toothache. It hurts. I have to go to the dentist. What's a dentist? A dentist is a tooth doctor. Do you hate going to the dentist? Mm -hmm. I love going to the dentist. I don't know why. Ever since I was a child, I have absolutely loved going to the dentist. Maybe because my dentist gave me stickers to play with or something to take home. I don't know. I've just never been afraid of the dentist. I always thought that it was really cool to see all the tools that the dentist used and ah, put them in my mouth. I was a strange child. Not much has changed except I've gotten bigger. My name's Ronnie. Today I'm going to teach you about going to the dentist. All oh, the torture, all oh, the pain, all oh, the fear, all oh, the fun. I'm going to teach you some basic vocabulary that you need to know if you go to the beautiful dentist. First of all, we have in English singular and plural. So. Singular is one tooth. So you can say, my tooth hurts, or I have a toothache. Singular, tooth. So tooth means one. If you want to talk about more than one tooth, you have to say teeth. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please be very careful with your pronunciation of the word teeth and tooth, especially teeth. If you do not stick your tongue out and say teeth, it sounds like you say tits. 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 It sounds like you say tits. Don't say that. So, tooth and teeth. You must stick out your tongue to get the pronunciation of this word correct. The next word you might know already, but think this is strange and think gum, chewing gum, what, what, what is dentist chewing? No, I don't know. I don't get it. Gums are basically the pink, can you get in there? The pink part above your teeth. So if this is a picture of my black teeth. I have a pink tissue above my mouth, or in my mouth, that surround my teeth like this, and these are called gums. It is always plural. We don't say gum, we don't say my gum, we say gums. So, in your mouth, hopefully, you have teeth. Some of you might not have all of your beautiful teeth, but that's okay. Don't worry. You have your teeth and you have gums. So gums is the pink part here. Sometimes your tooth is sore. Mm -hmm. So you might say, oh, my tooth is sore. I have a tooth ache. Say this with me. Tooth ache. Tooth ache. I have a toothache. That means there's something wrong with your tooth. It's causing you pain. Uh-oh. Most of the time, the reason why you have a toothache is because you have a cavity. Cavity. Now, a cavity is simply a hole in your tooth. So, this is a beautiful red, healthy tooth. And what happens is a cavity makes a hole in your tooth and it begins to rot right down to the root or the vein in your tooth and that causes you pain. So a cavity basically just means a hole in your tooth and because this is rotting away it causes pain in the nerve in your mouth causing you to get a toothache. Not a good feeling, not a good situation. Unfortunately, the dentist is very expensive.
expensive in Canada. So I recommend that you brush your teeth at least two times a day to help with the bad breath as well. You may have known a lesson on bad habits, mm -hmm. bad breath. We don't like that. Um, one of the reasons you may have bad breath or someone, not you, is because you have a cavity. So, what you're going to do is you're going to call the dentist. You are going to make an appointment. Now, you might have noticed that I have written N, N, V, 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 N, 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 N. N means noun. So this means it is a noun and V means a verb. So what's going to happen is you're going to call the dentist's office and you are going to make an appointment. Make is a verb. So you're going to call and make an appointment. The dentist receptionist is going to say, uh, tomorrow at 7, no. They will arrange a time for you. I know sometimes talking on the telephone is difficult. So if you can communicate with a dentist through email, or if you can actually go to a dentist office, it'll be easier for you. But it doesn't matter if you call, email, or go there, you're going to make an appointment. What's going to happen is the doctor is going to give you a checkup or the dentist, sorry, the tooth doctor is going to give you a checkup. This just means he or she will check your teeth, check if they're healthy, make sure you don't have any cavities, make sure your gums are okay. They may even give you an x-ray. That's very expensive too. An x-ray is a picture of the bone structure in your mouth. The x-ray lets the doctor know any additional things, cavities, you can't see in an x-ray, but if there's um, inflammation or something wrong with the inside of your teeth, the x-ray will show the dentist this. Dun, 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 dun. Then it's time for the drill. If you have a cavity, the dentist is going to take a drill. Now, you may know the word drill. Um, let's say you wanted to hang something in your apartment. You're going to take a screw and a machine that doesn't look like a drill but that's okay and basically a drill is going to make a bigger hole in your tooth guess what this really 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 hurts mm -hmm. so it's like taking a hammer or an electrical thing going ah and drilling your tooth they usually give you some kind of help they usually give you some kind of drugs or medicine so you don't feel the drill going in. So what happens is they take their beautiful dentist drill and they drill a hole and they drill all the bad stuff out of your cavity. Then they take what's called a filling. I forgot to write this down. A filling basically fills your cavity with um, usually a white or sometimes silver gold if you're really, really, really rich. Compound and it stops the hole or stops the cavity from growing. So they drill and then they fill or they put in a filling to cover your tooth. The next thing that they're going to do is they're going to have to put a cap on your tooth so that food or foreign objects, like an airplane, doesn't go back into your tooth. So a cap is basically like a lid or a hat. It's a tooth hat. It's a hat for your tooth to protect it from all the drilling. So a cap is what happens at the end after the drilling, after the filling, you get a beautiful cap. Um, <clears throat> maybe when you go for your checkup or your appointment, you don't have a cavity. Yay! What they will do is they will clean your teeth. They usually use a fluoride solution and they scrape all the dirty stuff off of your teeth. This is called tartar. Oh, not tartar. Excuse me. So this is called tartar and it's basically a buildup 
of dirty, dirty, dirty stuff on your teeth, so they scrape it, so your teeth are nice and clean. Maybe there is no help for your tooth. Maybe the cavity has eaten all of your tooth, and your teeth, tooth needs to be taken out. <laughs> what happens in this case is you have two options. Ding, ding. You can get an implant. Do you know another place you could get implants? An implant means a, basically a fake tooth. So they put another drill in your mouth, and they're gonna put like a nail or a screw, and they just put a fake tooth, doo -doo -doo -doo, and they screw it into your mouth. It looks real. It's wonderful. Not to, did I forget to mention that a doctor is very, very, very expensive and painful? Or the other option you could go with is a false tooth, or plural, false teeth. Um, a lot of older um, ladies and gentlemen have false teeth. You can take them out, scare the grandkids. Um, so you have options. If you have money, you can have beautiful new teeth. No one will ever know you had a cavity. Go to YouTube. Subscribe to my lessons. Go to ingvid.com. Leave me a comment. Tell me if you like or hate the dentist and why. Don't forget, brush your teeth.